all right what's going on today guys so i have been busy i made a couple boxes for the oven and i smelted down a whole butt ton of garnerite and pentlandite to make nickel and some more iron and i made my first batch of invar so we have a bunch of invar and you can see here i've got 25 invar walls in my inventory also went out and collected the sticky resins we have butt tons of that now i can use for sticky pistons or torches or whatnot glue whatever i may need but today we are going to get into making a tank so to make the walls just like this I'm gonna need one more of them I did make a steel wrench since I lost my wrench somehow last time and we're gonna need two of these in our rings and then I do believe it's a saw and a hammer yeah a saw hammer and there we go so that is our tank now before we get too busy we are going to make some more of the uh, molds for the extruder so file hammer and cutters Was it like that? There we go. All right, we're gonna make two of the pipe ones. So let's see here. If I remember correctly, we need to make the curved plate, and then that'll make the pipe. So we're gonna make a normal pipe, which is in the corner. We're gonna make a small pipe which is top okay and that's going to go in the corner so go like that so you can use an extruder if you're doing things like bronze and brass and lead you can make curved plates in the extruder if you don't want to use a hammer but if you're using anything like iron and steel you need the second tier, which means you have to get the tungsten first. All right, so there's our normal. And then where was the, that's the large, that's the small, okay. Now I don't have, I haven't gone over to get the uh, bookshelf. Let's actually go ahead and just throw an Invar one together. Not like I uh, am hurting for Invar at the moment. It's only six. Okay, so it's saw, file, and hammer. And then when I do go get them... I can just break them down. All right. So for anybody that doesn't know, there's all kinds of things you can throw on these bookshelves. The main thing I use them for is these. I like to keep all my pipes down here on the bottom. All right. And I'm going to start making some metal chests. I just have to decide... Uh, what chest I want to use What material I want to use to make them uh, Something that doesn't take iron because I have made enough freaking iron All right, so the next thing we're making today is a Invar burning box But not solid we're making a liquid one Liquid Invar burning box so we need two Invar pipes, small, which is why we went ahead and made this. 
Oh, and I always forget to say it. You can click on these with a magnifying glass so you don't have to pull them off. And it'll tell you what they are. You can also put uh, records, books, obviously. Just about every book from every mod you can put on those shelves. There's not too many that I know of that... Well, there's none that I know of that can't. Um, so let's get Quinvar here. I'll throw that in there. And let's see if this is going to be enough. Come on. Ah. I knew it was treating me too good. All right, let's go ahead and break this one down. There we go. I'll put the hammer back. We don't need that. I think we're going to look into making uh, matches pretty soon. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I can't make Invar... I know better than that. Why did I even think I could do it? Invar's made of iron. You can't put that in a low heat extruder. You numbskull. I can't believe I thought I could do that. I didn't think I could do it. I honestly just didn't think. Alright, well, let's curve these two and do it the right way. Now that I've showed my ignorance for the day. Y'all enjoy seeing me do something stupid every now and then, don't you? Well, there's your something stupid for the day. I just got done saying anything around the temperature of iron cannot be done. A low heat extruder. But no, I still try to put it in there. All right, and I just had a whole bunch of, yeah, there they are. Let's see, I knew I had a whole bunch of copper plates because I made them up specifically for needing them for this type of thing here. Okay, so there's our liquid Invar burning box. Now, what we're going to do... Because I told you guys I had made that mistake and put this in the wrong place. So we're going to fix this first. Uh, I need to go out and get the tap. Here. That, thank you. Push it, pooch. Alright, we're going to put that on there. We're going to disconnect the pipe. Um, here. And we're going to use this jug. Catch the creosote out of there. It can hold 2,000. We're just going to keep tapping. Fill some in there. How much we got? Oh, we're full. Alright, let's go dump this out into the tank. Thanks for asking. Thanks for coming. I'll be here all week. Alright. Get the rest of this out of here. Pipe's empty. All right. Oh, we can go ahead and break this out of here. And we're going to have it go... Uh, do I want to go under there? <laughs> what did I do with my piston? There's my piston. Thank you. 
Alright, so the piston will go there, the glass will go there, so I just need to go under that. Uh, the only problem with that is I broke my bronze pick, so let's get one of the granite ones I have back here. And yes, as usual, my inventory is a complete and utter mess, but did you expect anything else? I've been trying to clean it out before I start an episode, but, you know, it's just kind of against my nature to clean out my inventory before I start, and I completely forget. Uh, da -da -da -da. Pipes. There we go. I know I had some of those left in here. Alright, so there... And, you know what, we're going to take that out for just a moment. That does not need to be open to the piston. Alright, so everything is now connected. Except that I am a doofus. And just put creosote back in there when I don't want it in there. Enough room in here. Doesn't look like it. No. Alright, let's go dump this thing one more time. Go get that last little bit out of there. Alright, you come out of there. We're going to pull that out of there. And... We're going to put the Invar one in there. Now, you may ask why I'm using a lower heat when I could use, like, chrome or steel, which would make it heat up faster. But this is for the making steel one, and it needs to have time to put the heat or the air into the crucible after we hit 2046 and so the slower that it goes for that part the better it is so that's why we're going with invar for the steel maker so i can see uh how well it will work for making steel because I have a way of automating steel, but I'm not sure that it's going to work. The last time I made it, I had my factory on the server, and I didn't uh, need to worry about a burning box. So i'm gonna do some testing around with it and see if i can get it to work and now i'm literally just standing here trying to think of what i need i knew i needed something but i couldn't remember what it was which actually i probably have a piece of glass which i do oh crud does help if you make that a sticky piston. Doofamongus. I just got done saying I had all that sticky resin. I used to make a sticky piston. I forget to make my piston sticky. There we go. Now we got a little sticky icky on it. You'd think it was from California. Alright, and I need to get some food up in my ass. I am getting hungry. Speaking of, uh, where is my fishy fishy? Bear eat fishy. Alright, there we go. Now we can put that there. We can make a lever. Shut the damn door. You born a barn. 
I need to get a plate there. I always forget to shut the damn door. Aha. Okay. So now we're one step closer to actually automating this thing. Um, with it the way it is, I can do a automatic shutoff. I just need to make a second one of these, but we'll get into that with the next one. I just wanted to get that rerouted and done for today. And now we're going to work on this tank. There is one other thing we need to uh, craft that I forgot to craft, but get this tank dealt with first. All right, so we're going to put this in. <laughs> hmm. Trying to, yeah, let's just put it up here. Don't want all of that dirt under there, but let's go ahead and put it on the corners. And yes, I'm losing black sand for a shutoff out here. Which reminds me, I have a warning for you guys. There is a change coming, which I will show you guys here in a second. That's going to make black sand even more attractive than what it already is. Because honestly, black sand is my favorite way of getting iron. It always has been. You get more iron out of it uh, per unit. But uh, Greg has changed limonite in the test version that I'm currently using. And when you throw it into a crucible now, you only get two small piles of hematite. So the limonite to iron is now going to be um, 10, 1, and 1. 10... Limonite, <coughs> one carbon and one calcite because you're going to need to do this recipe is basically what you're going to end up doing. You just have to double the hematite to limonite for limonite. So, yeah, there's that. So... I'll be sticking with my black sand. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we need to get these pipes outside and to that tank. They're so conveniently right here. There we go. And I think I lost my bricks outside. Let's go see. I think we're going to have another kind of automation day. Here, probably the first of next week. Where we work on automating this and automating a bit with the dryer. Go ahead and take this. This is the 8,000 liters of distilled water I've already captured, which we'll throw up there. And now we'll fill so it's empty. And we now have 8,200 because I actually had so much in there that. It was more than it could handle. All right, let's get this other thing done that I need to get made. And that is we're going to make our dryer. So we need a steel machine casing, a regular steel pipe, 
and we're going to need four of these. But let's just throw these over here for a minute because we need to get three of these curved. Ah, uh, no. That was stupid. Especially since I'm kind of worried I might not have enough steel. Hoping I do. I'm starting to worry I don't. Especially now that I did that stupidity. Because now I lost a little bit because of the stupid ass casing thing. I hate that thing. Alright, so in here. Yeah, I am actually going to be short one for the casing. And I think I did this backwards again. No steel down there, but a couple of rods. A couple of rods. Yeah, we are out of steel. So we're going to have to um, just give me what I need for the casing. All right, so let's just throw this in here it won't take but a second good thing for loot huh i am going to need a burning box for this dryer but rather than wait on the steel maker to make more steel i'll just steal that one over there for right now so we can set this up and then I'll remake it and put it back. And now that we have the extruder, I'm going to start making up some bronze or some brass so we can start automating our coal coke and stuff like that around this place um you know what that might actually be a problem i don't know what's in there eh, don't do it haha -ha. what do i have oh it is just lignite it wanted to go though it was really close Go ahead and shut it off now. That one should get me just... Oh, are you kidding me? You're going to do me like that, are you? Alright, there you go. You can have that one. Now that you got two pieces in there, you should be okay. I hope. Not, I've got my lead right here. Okay, we're good. Just barely, but we're good. Alright, so we need steel plate. Where are my there's my tongs? Give me those. Oh, yeah, I threw it over here just to get it out of the way. Oh, I must have had it right the first time. Yeah, there we go. So, regular steel machine casing. We got that. That's going to go there. We need the four bricks in there like that. Should be a hammer and a wrench as per usual. And we're going to need two of these um, put together into a double plate. There we go. Now we have our dryer. And I guess I never did really mention this. In the beginning, I probably should have, 
you guys might notice that my uh, plates look different than what yours will. There is a texture pack that I'm using that is in the pack if you've downloaded this pack. Where is the uh, resource pack? Old plates from GT6. That's the one that gives me the plates. And then there's the IC2 sound fix that gives us back the IC2 sounds when I use a wrench and stuff instead of the thing that Greg's does that annoys the piss out of me. And we're going to do... I'm going to put this dryer right down on the same level just out about two blocks. Um, that's my bronze liquid one. We want this one there. I'll go ahead and put this dirt here. Give me a little bit more room. I'm definitely going to be building something over this, some kind of overhang. If you do not run this in the rain, it will blow up. I have learned that. <laughs> All right, so now what we need to do is we have this water line right here that is going into here that we need to take out of there. By the way, you can see that we have 21% calcification. If you want to clean the calcification, if you for some reason want to run on regular water, uh, you can get a chisel, which I have right here. And do not do this if it is not completely cooled down. It will hurt. But you can do that right there. And that cleans the calcification out of your boiler. So now I don't have to pick up my boiler and put it back down. Except I still have to do that because it has water in it. But, you know. If for some reason you want to run it off regular water you can and clean it that way all right so now we need this pipe here it's going to come out and the dryer says fluid in left or back back is auto which means it'll automatically suck it in like if you had a drum there but since we have a pipe, it doesn't really matter. We can go in the left or the back. But I'm going to go ahead and go in the back just because, well, I can. Um, yeah, I got to do this one because I can't reach that pipe. There we go. So now you'll see we have water in there. Now we just need to go make some copper pipes to connect it over here it'll automatically output through the top so we're going to need one two three four five and then we're going to need one two three four five let's just make like 20 plates that should be fine um or 20 pipes I've got seven plates we can do done all right we are going to throw these in here because these we most definitely can do in here and we're gonna steal this bronze one for a moment we're going to use it. I hate doing this. It absolutely drives me nuts. 
moving burning boxes like this. But for right now, because I don't want to have to edit this video and I don't want to have to make you guys sit here and wait on me to make steel, it's kind of necessary. I really should just put a chest here. But I can put that there. And until it burns up, it will block the output. And then if it burns up, it's going to leave, you know, fire and it's going to piss me off. And, well, you know. All right, there we go. Now if we go out front, we grab some charcoal. Hey, you're done. How about you turn the hell off? Go ahead and break this. And I'm going to make more pistons and make shutoffs for all these things. Now that I've got all that. Yeah, 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 I know. Gazillion slots if I had a backpack. Hush your face. Nobody's talking to you, Mr. Greg. All right, so let's go get this in here. And we're going to turn this bad boy on. And there we go. Now that is going to start making us distilled water, which it'll be putting in there for us. And now let's go ahead and run this in here. Uh, let's go down. Actually, I don't want to go down that far. Let's just... I don't need to go in the back. I can literally go in the side. Let's do that. We can close that up. like that and I don't know why in the heck that is acting so weird that it doesn't want to show up you notice that if I'm looking here it the grid doesn't show up until I go over it and then I gotta go over that's new that's not something that used to happen but there we go now we have distilled water in there and we don't have to worry about it uh, calcifying ever again. Because calcification is not a thing with distilled water. Because, well, distilled water is clean. There's nothing in there to mess it up. And now I need to get something put over top of this. Because if it starts raining... This is going to go boom, and we do not want to lose our dryer and everything around it. So we're just going to build this little thing right here for the moment. That'll keep us safe for now. And I'll build a proper building thing here in a little bit. Maybe I'll put it out as a special episode of me building my extension to the little shop we have here. But that should be good, I think. I think that's what I had planned for the day. We got the dryer made. We're making distilled water. It's... This tank can hold ass tons of water, so I'm not even worried about... Oh, why did I type in dryer? Tank. I'll just do valve. It's easier. All right, so small invar. This thing can hold 
one million seven hundred twenty eight thousand liters so this one stack of charcoal is probably not going to get anywhere near filling it so i'm just going to let it run now if for some reason you don't have fresh water available you can still do this with salt water um seawater will give you distilled water as well but you will get salt out of it so if you um, are playing with PAMs or something like that where you need lots of salt that might be a good idea for you to use so let's see here show you the recipe for the dryer getting distilled water I don't even know um, I guess you can dry wood in the dead logs and get distilled water See if we can get past all the different wood stuff here. Got some strange wood looking in there. Like 200 and some. You can also dry any of the grains out. Barley turns to dry grass. Gives you a little bit of water. That's a different type of barley. That's barley bales. And that's the other barley bale. That's another one. And another one. And we're back at wood again. Um, this is a chemical thing. Don't need to look at that. Past all the wood. Holy crap, Greg. How much wood do you got? Alright, so oats oats oat bale oak bale oat bales and then more wood this is rice from pams and uh greg same thing as the other this is rye and its bales uh that's a chemical thing we'll get into later there's wheat that you can dry out and the wheat bales and then you have the grass you can actually cut in twilight forest to dry grass the dry grass you get when you cut in the overworld so you don't have to sit it out if you don't want there's regular minecraft grass the ferns this is grapes all the different flavors of grapes what the heck oh that's a pomegranate and this was a fig, I think. No, that's pomegranate from Pam's. And you got your grass bales. And cactus water, you can dry into the distilled water. 4410. And that's wet concrete that you can dry out. Wet concrete. Just give me. Oh, this is the blue flower dyes and stuff like that. You can dry them out and get little bits of dye. There's all kinds of crap in the dryer. And watch what I actually want is going to be one of the last ones. Because we only got seven left. Reed water. This is what you get from uh, sugar cane and a squeezer. So then you can make your sugar that way. If you look here, um, go to the squeezer and sugar cane will give you a hundred weed water and a chance the plant remains. And then two of those will make you one piece of sugar and 50 distilled water. So if you want to live somewhere where there isn't a river, you can always use a, um, reed farm for your water this is salt water from that you can make with salt or from ihl i think that's the same salt what we're looking for that sap which is from uh oh okay this is the sap from Benny's. never mind i thought that was the sap from maple trees there we go. There's the seawater. So 8,000 liters of 
seawater will give you a small pile of salt and 7,750 liters of distilled water. And then you got your sluice juice, which we'll be doing eventually. Um, I don't know what that crap is. This is the recipe we're doing now. 10 regular water to 8 distilled water, and we get nothing out of it. And then this is the dirty water from the swamps, which will turn 8,000 into 7,000, and you get a little bit of dirt out of it because, well, it's dirty. So, hopefully that part didn't bore the absolute hell out of you going through all of the dryer recipes for distilled water. But I know some people like to go with alternatives to just drying regular river water. So, that's your alternatives. I'm sure you can actually find other ways to do it. There are a few other ways of getting... Uh, regular water, which you could then dry into distilled water, too, if you really want to get inventive with it. So, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to get some steel made. Try this out. I will probably record it as our next episode. Um, or depending on how boring it is, I might put it out as just a bonus one and then have it in the next episode of, uh, how it actually worked. I know some people like to watch the, the testing things where I figure things out. Other people just want the quick and dirty. So we'll see what we end up with, but either way, I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Take it easy. Hit them buttons. Do the th things. Thanks for all the love on the video guy videos you guys have been giving me. All the views. It uh, really helps. We have gotten our numbers back up to, I do believe, higher than what it was before I left for the move. So y'all are doing absolutely great with the support. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.